now to a news conference today for the new interim superintendent of Jefferson County Public Schools, Dr. Marty Polio. Good afternoon, I'm Rachel Platt. He says he will hit the ground running at this very critical time with low morale. It is a job he has until they find a permanent replacement, and he's hoping it's going to be him. WHAS 11's Holden Kerwicki on his plan and a little bit more about who he is. Holden? Well, Rachel, Marty Polio has worked in JCPS for more than 20 years with stops at Shawnee, Wagner, J-Town, and Doss, and has developed a reputation as a fixer. On his first day in his new role, he wants to make it clear that there is a new voice leading JCPS. After 20 years in JCPS, Marty Polio is stepping into his dream job as interim superintendent, but he was quick to admit that if things don't change in the schools, it could quickly be a nightmare. Without a doubt, my number one priority will be to work with the school level and central office leaders to improve the academic climate and culture within all of our schools and facilities. But there could be obstacles in the way of his ambitious goals, including an ongoing forensic audit of the district by the Kentucky Department of Education. The only way I know how to move forward with this is to use it as a roadmap. Um, Obviously, getting the audit results, studying those, and making sure that we use the recommendations of the KDE to move our district forward. Well, a neighborhood schools bill was pulled by state legislators this spring. Dr. Polio says the district could get ahead of the state by developing a revitalized facilities plan, which could change how parents view school of choice. We have a couple of options. We can wait to have the legislators make that decision for us, or we can um, explore our student assignment plan, find things that um, are problems in it right now, look to fix it, and address many of these issues ourselves. Well, it remains to be seen if Dr. Polio will be the man for the job long term. On his first day, he was already making his case. Whether I am here for the short term or the long term, I am committed to being a passionate leader who confronts these issues head on. I believe I'm the right person to lead JCPS into the future. Dr. Polio says he will immediately begin searching for a principal to lead the Young Males of Color Academy in 2018, and he hopes to have a district chief academic officer named by the end of this week. He also plans on holding press briefings every two weeks to clean up transparency issues with the district. Rachel.